a dream. Then I gave it up. I gave up thinking that the song I heard was the song of the world. I gave up lyric, I gave up a reverie, I gave up esthesis. I left my notebook on the park bench open with its pages riffling. I kept my head down. I said, okay, fine, Elon Musk is the most important person on the planet. I did not read Ozymandias. But like that monument, I started to crumble. Down, I fell, down into earth, down into its deep, revising heat. And on the other side, my life's antipode. Everything just slightly realigned. A hesitation in the driverless cars, a hint of lemon in the eucalyptus. Also, absence. A shimmer in the air where epic had been. A little grave of daffodils around the first person pronoun. Quiet, but not silent. A pitter in the canopy. You look down at your impression in the grass and go, oh, so that's why we sleep on our sides. You no longer need to know the end of the story. You no longer dread the great devaluation. No ziggurats collapsing. No cities on a plane. You shake yourself, head high like a horse, and step out into all the rain that's ever rained.